One of the great drills to be able to flight your ball down is an abbreviated follow through drill. And so what does an abbreviated follow through look like? Well, this would be a full follow through all the way to the top. This would be more of an abbreviated follow through. Now, where I want you to end up is about right in between there. Somewhere in this area here it would be a great spot to end up. But we want to go to the extreme and feel some of those extremes. So what we want to do is find there. Feel like that club doesn't get higher than parallel to the ground. So as I work into this, what I'm going to do is make sure that I really am stopping my swing there. You'll notice the ball will start to come out much lower. And this is a great drill for you to start understanding how to get the proper follow through. So you can see it provides way steeper of an angle of attack because I'm focusing on this follow through being here. Okay. If I had a long follow through, a lot of times it may feel a little flippy, but as I focus on this abbreviated follow through, it'll steepen my angle of attack, bring that ball flight down just ever so slightly. So work on that abbreviated follow through, really feel the exaggerated motion of stopping right there. That'll be really helpful to bring that wedge flight down. If you find yourself having a tough time flighting your wedges down, if the wedges seem to be going too high, chances are this center of mass is coming back this direction. You're adding loft at impact. So how do we change that? Well, I got a Gary Player walkthrough drill that I want you to try. Okay, Gary Player has been famous for walking through his shots. This is really helpful to get this ball flight down. So what does that really look like? Well, if we Hit one real quick. Ball position still just slightly forward to center, but watch how I walk through this thing. So as I hit that shot, it's, it's only going about 20 feet in the air, but the sound is different because I'm hitting it low on the face. First two, two grooves, right? I'm making sure that I'm getting my center of mass well over it, so I'm hitting the bottom couple grooves on the club. It shouldn't sound super pure, right? Because we're going to the extreme here. We're trying to get you the feel of really moving on top of it. So don't feel like you got to hit this thing extremely pure. And as you hit it down lower on the lower part of the grooves, the center of gravity actually shifts that club head more this way, which is actually going to bring the ball flight down even more. I'll demonstrate one more time. Just going to feel like I get to the top and then I walk through. So this is an exaggerated way, and that ball's not going higher than about 15, 20 feet in the air. But this is an exaggerated way to really help you understand to get this center of mass out in front of it so that you're not hanging back and hitting these wedge shots that go to the moon. We don't really want those. We want to be sure that we're on top of it and moving our weight through it. So give that drill a try. Hopefully it'll help bring that ball flight down for you. Okay, we're gonna call this the step drill. This is one where I wanna have you feel like you get your pressure back and through. This is really important to help get us this center of mass over the ball so that you can flight it down. Okay, so it's gonna look a little like this. I'm gonna get the club working a little this way. I'm gonna step into the right, stomp into the left, and then swing through, okay? So step right, stomp left, swing through. This is really gonna help me understand how to transfer that weight. And we can do it with a ball here as well. We can move, move, step right, stomp. And that ball comes out really low, which is exactly what I want. It gets my, gets my low point well out in front, gets me hitting low on the club face, right? First couple of grooves. This is exactly where I wanna hit it. And so for me, this is a nice way to get some good rhythm. I actually feel the pressure moving into that front foot stomping and going. This is a great drill to get that ball flight down for those awkward yardages, 60, 70, 80, 90 yards. This will help you get that ball flight down really nicely. I've got a couple clubs here, 56 degree and 52 degree. Let's say I hit my 56 degree maximum of 80 yards. I'm gonna take my 52 and try to hit it the same distance. I'm gonna to try to hit this 80 yards, okay? So when you're practicing at home, 
take your club, whatever, you, whatever club it is, max distance, take one extra club, and we'll try to hit it the same distance. And what I want you to pay attention to is how flowy and syrupy your swing can be. So I don't want you to necessarily slow down on the way through. I just want it to be syrupy back and through. And I want to try to hit it about the same distance that I would hit the previous club before it. So understanding that syrupy, slow swing, managing my arm speed, this is going to be a great drill if you have trouble really lunging at it or really just getting real jerky with it. Um, not managing your speeds correctly. Just feel that tempo, that syrupy back and through. I'll hit one more just to sort of show you the feel of it just going back and through. Just trying to hit this one club more, trying to hit it the, the same distance. So 52, I'm trying to hit it the distance of my 56 degree, but I'm doing it through managing my rhythm managing the speed of my arms and just feeling very syrupy in my arms and in my hands.